makes a huge difference um, of being powerful, being consistent with your message. And here's the truth. It may bore some of you after a while. <laughs> Don't be concerned yeah. about that because what I really want you to do is have it so that you can completely repeat it consistently. Because okay. being consistent and persistent with your message is actually part of what guarantees success. Just saying. Okay, so it's interesting that you say that. So basically, I would assume as part of the process, um, in creating a message, we have to get clear on our niche, right? Who it is that we're targeting, what are the problems that that market is experiencing, right? And and of course, be able to articulate the solutions. So is, is being clear on your niche in your process the first step? Well, in, in your world of, of more working with people, yes. yes. And in my world of getting in media, which here's the thing, imagine this, that you are quoted in your local newspaper, that you're on the radio, that you're featured in a mm -hmm. podcast, um, you know, even your own Facebook lives, Instagram lives, whatever you want to do, guess what? Yeah. That puts you front and forward and makes such a huge difference. So I just, I really want to um, underline the fact that uh, the power of your message is really what's going to drive people and yes, clients and also media to you. You know, like when okay. Simone Biles quit the Olympics, any of my mental health professionals, people working in mindset, transformation, goal setting, you know, health coaches, guess what? They were front and center in the media commenting about her leaving the mm. Olympics. So what I want to say to all of you is you have the opportunity and ability to be featured in the media and imagine this, you know, really prospects coming to you because you're the quoted one, the expert, mm, right? That's the how you expert, want to right? align yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny you say that because um, I wanted to ask you what, what, how would you define an expert? Well, I just want to say, point yourself right now. Those of you watching, those of you listening, you're the expert. You're the yeah. expert. And so how I define it, if you have, you know, taken the courses and done the work to do what you do and have the degrees and the credentials and the background, guess what? You're the expert. So now it's positioning yourself as an expert so that you get, you know, more prospects, so that people know your name, so that it creates, I like to call it the I've heard of you somewhere syndrome. And that yeah, is what's going to drive your publicity. So yes, publicity then gets you niched it. And frankly, if you know your niche, which is great, what's wonderful about that, let's say you want women who are certain ages. Well, guess what? Then the question is, what media are they watching, listening to, reading? Um, and going after, let's say, women's media, women's podcasts, that kind of thing. And then talking about fill in the blank, right? How to have better right. self-care, going out for Mother's Day if you serve mostly women and talking about, you know, how do you uh, create a healthy life? And there's all kinds of ways mm -hmm. that you can keep coming in um, at different times of the year that make a big difference. Okay, so that kind of leads us to, um, you know, creating a, um, uh, a script, I guess that, you know, like for the media, you know, when I think that's one of the things that scares people is like, oh my God, what am I going to say? You know, can you give us some tips on how to approach that? Absolutely. And it, you know, thank you, Leslie. It is a script. Um, yeah. And don't be afraid of that because here's the thing, when you have a script, good news is you know what to say. So when you follow my formula I, I gave you, which is to find what is the problem today. See, the media needs to know the problem today is 78% of, of people are depressed and anxious because of COVID, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. if you can find a statistic, that is good. And then, you know, okay. as a, and then say what you are, right? As a fill in the blank mindset coach um, or mindful eating uh, person, I'd like you to, uh, I'd like you, to, I'd like to recommend three easy things that you mm. can do simply every day to be more mindful of your eating.
Now, uh, an advanced portion of this would be integrate the name of one of your products or services or you know programs into your message. And even if it's mm. just one word, right? Okay. Like I, I, when I do my message, I say, I want to give you three guerrilla publicity tips today. Well, that's one of my books, guerrilla publicity, yeah. right? And so yes. um, I don't say in page 85, you know, just do it this simply, elegantly and gracefully, but put at okay. least one word into, into your message. Okay. That aligns with your program, your philosophy, your whatever your thing is, right? Exactly. And, and here's the thing, remember, it's staying away from my words into what is it that serves um, externally, right? What serves the yes. world? And when I say the world, that's like, yes, your clients. Um, but yes. what, do, what do I need to know? Like, tell me three ways that I can relieve stress in my day. Like, give okay. me specifics, right? Okay. Um, like, I can give you three ways that you can create great guerrilla publicity. And, and so one is to create your ooh, ah mm. factor. Now with that, I just did a sound bite. I did something fun, making you perk up, I hope, and listen. Yeah. So sound bites are a beautiful thing. Think about that. And so making your, mm. um, making your solutions into sound bites really work and make them into commanding language, make them memorable and easy, please, no jargon, None of your mm. talk, you know, your technical talk, really simple language, five-year-old language is best. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, what, what exactly is a sound bite? Can well, you give let me, maybe um, another example or two? Because sure. honestly, I, I've so, heard that before, but I'm like, how do, how do I do that? <laughs> sure. You what know, sound... I'm speaking for myself. I've just never been really clear on that. Absolutely. Well, what a sound bite is, is, is the opportunity to speak a, um, what I would call a good solution to somebody, but do it in a way they can remember. Like mine is mm. create your ooh, ah factor. And my third tip is create the I've heard of you somewhere syndrome. Now, mm -hmm. both, both of those are sound bites. They're short, they're quick, they're fast, they're focused. So uh, you want to be looking at um, maybe an acronym, but I'm a little wary of acronyms, to be honest, mm -hmm. because then you have to spell it out, right? Like do right. something that creates that ooh, ah factor is fun. I make people say it, you know what I'm saying? So then I have I an do. opportunity to do it simple and easy and keep things quick for people. So one of the things I'd recommend is be listening to your patients, your clients, and what do they say back to you that seems to be um, simple with whatever you just said to them? So be listening mm. to what's landing, what's sticking, right? Like I talk to mm -hmm. people about being a star in your own backyard, right? And then I have mm -hmm. a star. And especially with Zoom, it's great to have a little bit of props and fun things to show so that people get um, engaged with you more. Okay, I love that. It I can see how that really makes you more memorable, and as a brand, as a person, the person behind the brand. So, um, how's my sound? You sound great. Okay, and, you know, all right. For Just instance, wanted to I have a chiropractor, <laughs> and yeah. one of the things I have him doing is is a banner right next to him on Zoom. You know, with uh, a quick download of what he does with his patients. So oh. there's ways that you can memorably impress with people, including in your background. Notice I have all four books here. Yes. Yeah. So pay attention. What's in your background? What's on your Zoom? You know, making sure that people know um, what you do and just quickly can connect to who you are. Okay. I love that. That's so helpful. 